Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Danielle and we are continuing with the Elements in Magic series and we are talking fire, okay? So fire is called from the south. It's considered warm and dry, okay? So why would you need that dryness to evaporate too much moisture, of course, of course, of course. Of course. Um, so if someone's being overly emotional, too much water, you want to burn a little bit of that off, okay? It's associated with that irritable, <laughs> angry personality, okay? That hot head, hot headed personality. Fire is active, it's passionate, it penetrates. Um, it's masculine in energy, and it also represents energy. Um, you can even say spirit. To me, fire is a very mystical element to me, and I definitely feel extremely connected to spirit when I look at a candle flame. Um, fire corresponds to the stage of life, which is conception, um, because it's like a, a, a spark is happening. <laughs> like a little fire of creation is started when um, any kind of life takes place. Um, and also we use that term, you know, you receive a spark of inspiration um, or the, the light bulb over your head. So um, light can definitely represent fire. That's why we use candles. Um Fire rules over the liver in the sense of sight, <clears throat> hence light. Um, you can use the color red to represent fire. Fire rules over summer. Um, it is life force. It's inspiration. Um, it corresponds to the wands suit. In tarot, in the clubs, in playing cards, is also associated with um, the knights and the judgment card. Excuse me. Um, dragons, lions, horses are um, things that you can use to represent fire. Um, salamander or gin. Salamander and gin are fire spirits. Um... It's a lot of fire spirits. Most African-based religions, from what I can tell, have a hot and a cold side when it comes to spirit. Um, but probably any kind of uh, religion, really, there's always that good and bad. Well, that bad would be that hot side. It's volatile. Um, you better know what the fuck you're doing, basically. <laughs> That's what that means. You know, uh, you don't just, you know, mess with electricity if you don't know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? You don't just break open a wall or crack open, uh, 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 start messing with wires and you don't know what you're doing. Bad things can happen. Is electricity evil, though? Not necessarily. You just didn't know what the, the hell you was doing. <laughs> so... Be cautionate with fire spirits. Think about that hot-headed temperament that I just told you about, okay? Spirits can be hot-headed, too. It's like they don't have any fucking patience, okay? So tread carefully. It's not necessarily that they're evil. It's like how you got some people that's just no nonsense. They're really the nicest, most generous people in the world. They just not on that bullshit. You can't hesitate. You can't, it, you just better be on it. You better be sharp. They don't have patience. Okay. And it's not that they're bad people. It's just, it's like when, when keeping it real goes wrong, but for you, not for them. <laughs> so, you know, just take your, your time. Um, and I would say if you're hot-headed, you, you might want to be careful because if you're already hot-headed, when you tend to work with a spirit, you'll you'll start taking on the qualities. If you are already, you know, rage-filled, working with hot spirits is only going to make that worse. Okay? So keep that in mind. Um, fire signs in the Zodiac are Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Um... 
elemental tools of fire. I already mentioned one, the candle, um, but also the sword, dagger, um, and lamps. Why the sword and the dagger? Because fire is aggressive. And so fire is usually associated with that warrior energy, you know, and what do swords and daggers do? They injure. What do you do when you go to war? You injure motherfuckers. So that's why. Um, so fire minerals are usually red or they're brightly colored, um, or they could be formed in fire. Um, or they could also be minerals that are associated with battle, like iron and things of that nature. Um, fire, gate, ruby, garnet. These are your fire minerals. Um, plants that are fire plants are usually either Mar Mars plants or sun plants. Okay, so your cinnamons, your cloves, um, things that sting. Uh, so your nettles. And um, things of that nature, allspice, uh, ang angelica, um, tobacco, woodruff, sunflower. Those are a few um, plants that are associated with fire because they're associated with Mars and the sun. Um, like cinnamon, that's a sun. Sun spice. Incense that you, you can use to represent fire are copal. So, like copal resin. So, why would you ever need fire? <laughs> well, to get a move on things. If you're a procrastinator, you definitely need to be working with the energy of fire to get up off your ass. Okay? Um, <laughs> if you need to destroy something, fire. Um... If you need to heat things up, if something's stagnant, you're trying to get it going again, um, fire. So, like, if you have jars, this is why you will burn a candle on top of a jar, like a honey jar. Because a honey moves slow, so it's more of a maintenance type thing. Um, I, unless things are already going good, I recommend you do something that's actually going to move. So, like, syrup. Or something like that, um, that actually is, you can shake it, it's going to move. Because that's symbology. Um, you're getting a move on. You're getting things going. You're shaking things up. You can't do that with honey. So honey, I feel you bring that in. It definitely can work for sweetening, but you're going to get slow results because it moves slow but it's going to be hard to move think about that once it's established think about how sticky and stubborn honey can be so that's a great thing um but not so great if you're trying to get things moving so you would incorporate the element of fire that spark that drive that passion that energy that force that drive and force it's like okay come on boom let's go so um boosting something that's been lying dormant or it moves slow like honey um shaker jar say you you've put something somewhere up under the bed and forgot about it reactivate it with a candle um recharge it uh give it that that fire energy because fire is energy um what else I said destroying and heating things up um I can't think of anything right now and I just saw <laughs> that this video is getting long so that's it guys if you have any questions by all means ask um share like comment subscribe if you haven't click that notification bell if you haven't and stay tuned for more okay bye guys